Thanks very much, Will. St. Michael's College first in the front row. Jack Boyle, Lee Barron and Chris Hennessy. Her second rows are Matthew Healy and Ryan Baird. In the back row, Jody Booth, Scott Penny and Dana Donovan. Halfbacks are Rob Gilson and David Moran. In the centres, Jay Barron and Captain David Ryan. Out wide, it's Andrew Smith and Mark O'Brien. And at fullback, Chris Cosgrave. For Clongo's Wood College, Connor Duff, Bobby Sheehan and Ryan McMahon in the front row. Dan Beggs and Tom Coughlin are in the second row. In the back row, Captain Anthony Ryan and he's joined by John Durkin and Matthew Martin. Behind the scrum, it's Conrad Daly and David Wilkinson. In the centres, Ben O'Shea and Joe Carroll. Out wide, Connell Keneally and John Marr and Charlie Gallon is at 15. Bright sunshine here today, the two sets of replacements. All very, very keen to get into the action. Almost more nerve-wracking for those guys than for the 15 who are going to start, Johnny. Yeah, well, I think, you know, you look at uh, the previous couple of games, the bench has played a um, very important role in coming off and trying to close out the games. Well, the sides have uh, gone through a long warm-up. It's a chilly day despite the bright sunshine. They've retired to the dressing rooms for some final words. But the supporters are in fine voice already. We've been in early, Clongo supporters uh, maybe looking a little bit more anxious than the St. Michael's boys. They're both making plenty of noise as they do everything they can to lift their side. And don't forget, just a reminder that Air Broadband subscribers can also watch today's action on the go with the Air Sport app. Visit air.ie forward slash sport for more details on how to get the app. Game today coming to you live on Air Sport 1, also on the Facebook page on Facebook Live, and it's also live on Twitter. We had a poll on Twitter beforehand to see uh, who people thought would come out ahead, and St. Michael's very marginal favourites here. That kind of reflects how tight we think it'll be, Johnny. Yeah, I think uh, Clangos are going to try and play a bit more physical, come around the corner, try and put the squeeze on St. Michael's and build a pressure game. St. Michael's have the luxury that they can play both phys physically and play with width. So for me, that just edges them. But it is going to be a very, very tight game. But Michael's just seem to, their pre-season form just lends itself. They have quality all across the pitch. Long goes the first side out. And they're very familiar white and purple hoops. They line up in front of their supporters. Their big side and plenty of speed as well. And it really has got noisy here, still waiting for St. Michael's to come out. Are they playing mind games, do you think, Johnny? There is a sense, uh, I think, the longer you're on the pitch at this time, it can create a bit, bit of nervous energy that you don't necessarily need at this age. Yesterday we were on the pitch a small bit early, and I think it was probably tactical from Ross Gray. Just make, make them wait, create that sense of doubt. But look, Clangos are a very experienced outfit. A lot of them have been here before, and you know I, I think they'll be well able to handle it. Here come the St. Michael's side. Led by their captain, David Ryan. We'll have a few moments before the start. Officials yet to take the field. And here they come now. A bit of a breeze again at Donnybrook today. Even though it is a beautiful, bright afternoon. Will the wind affect the kickers? We'll have to watch out for that. And if it's uh, a bit blustery, does it affect the line-out throwers? Today's match referee, Nigel Carell. I think the sunshine is probably going to have a bit of an effect for nines, especially when they put up a box kick. It's going to be tough for the back three to get up in the air and get side on that on the ball early. And as the game goes on this afternoon, of course, the sun will get lower. St. Michael's will be playing into it a little bit more in the second half. Game is underway. Safe take inside the 22. Bobby Sheehan. Clongo's hooker underneath it. Clongo's have taken the ball outside the 22. Kick comes from the scrum half. 
Dan O'Donovan racing crossfield. Good first up tackle. St. Michael still have the ball though. Tackle off! Carried from Jody Booth, nicely presented. Ryan Baird into the action early. Very good defensive set so far from Clongos, really putting Michael's line under pressure. And interestingly enough, they're going quite hard after the ball. That first or second man in is putting the Michael's ball carry under a huge amount of pressure. Ryan had to run crossfield there to tidy things up. He's secured possession, but St. Michael's have been forced back inside their own half. Scott Tackle Penny with the drive. Face. Well, advantage being played here. Referee just waiting to see how the deep Clongo's men will get on, but no option there. Tackle comes in. Charlie Gallon really didn't have anywhere to go. I'm sure he was hoping the referee would blow it up and award the scrum. Fantastic defensive set there from Clongo's. They went from their own 10 meter line to the St. Michael's 10 meter line. The back row of Matthew Martin and John Durkin really putting the ball carrying under pressure, getting over the ball, and just created that pressure out wide to create that knock-on. They now have a really good attacking platform with a scrum on their, on the St. Michael's ten to attack into. Really, really good first defensive set for Clongos. Yeah, there's a wide blind side here if they choose to use it. Eight and nine. They might attack the St. Michael's wing. But, uh, the back line for Clongos all committed and to the left, and that's the direction they go. Skip one in the line, looking to create a bit of space. That's the fullback Gallon in the line. Just couldn't get outside the right arm of the tackler. Daly has a little snipe. Pedro's good. St. Michael's counter rocking, forcing Clongos to commit some numbers. A little pop up pass to Ryan McMahon. His opposite number, Chris Hennessy involved in the tackle to stop that little surge. Congress come again, that's the 22-meter line. A little bit of pace injected into it. Strong running onto the pass. Dan Beggs on that occasion. Again, nice offload, but a crunching tackle coming in on Tom Coughlin. Congress fancy something down the narrow side here once again. Big tackles coming in from St. Michael's. Good leg drive on the ground there just to prevent the uh, steal coming in. This is very, very good from Clongas as they edge closer. Standing start on that occasion for the ball carrier, and you see the result gets dumped backwards. Uh, they attempted the chip through the ball, bobbling around. Knock on cold. Clongas just trying to build that pressure. And unfortunately, tempo just went, just was released by a really good positive tackle uh, by the Sa by St. Michael. Interesting enough, Conrad Daly, he looks like he's a marshal at nine, really controlling the tempo of the game. But his service has been excellent so far, really pinging those runners, giving them a target to run on to. And the power game that Clongos are trying to instill is really coming to show now in the first few minutes. St. Michael's scrum then. 15 meters from the try line. Set. Gilson and away from the base. Well, oh, that's gone loose in the tackle. Ferocious crunching tackle coming in. Clongos turn it over. Again, flat pass to the man running on. And scrum half. Making sure the referee saw yeah, Martin in the way there. to say, smart play by Conrad Daly there. Making sure that the Michaels defender rolled into him. It's really, it's really got in front of the, the, the referee's eye line. Making sure that he could get that penalty. Quite a, a nice opportunity, you wouldn't say the easiest, but a nice opportunity to start off Clongos to what has been a very, which we would say Clongos have been on top for the majority of this. You know, they, they, they created the opportunities by really good line speed and then they've been aggressive and the tempo has been very high in the Michaels 22 so far. Ben O'Shea. And the Bright Boots has the kicking duty. A 
Very deliberate uh, pre-kick preparation. Sends that on its way. Touch judges have a little glance, then the flags are raised. And the first score of the quarter-final goes the way of Clongos Wood, and well deserved for all the pressure. Definitely. Nice start from Ben O'Shea. Good strike straight between the post. Relaxes himself into the game. Well, again a good take. Bobby Sheehan, the man underneath it. The Congo's hooker. And makes a few metres of the break down the uh, narrow side. McMahon dipping the shoulder into contact. And there's good height on that box kick. Competition in the air. The ball bobbles loose. And knock on each way, St. Michael's the first one. Two knock ons. Clong goes put into the scrum. Very good box kick there from Conrad Daly. Isolating Darren Donovan in the backfield, but just in that mid range of the create the, the confusion between the front line and the back line. Darren Donovan is looking forward to see whether the, the front line is going to take it. Gives the Clongos. Gives Clongos uh, an opportunity to put, put pressure Fight. on the ball and get a turnover. Another nice attacking platform for Clongos Set. here, just Set. inside the Michaels half. Hold! Out the channel, out the channel, reset. Ball squirting out the side. Scrum will be reset. Listen to the call when I call for hold once you've got the metre and a half. You keep your mind high, you drive straight, don't look to go in. I've just spoken with Clongo's backline sap set very tight all inside near post. Looks like they're gonna try and run something up the middle of the Mike Michael's defensive line. Set. Let's stay straight and keep the bind up. Oh, one miss move. Now they do attempt to move the ball all the way wide. Fine. St. Michael's defense moved across field very quickly. Again the Man coming for the pass is coming onto the ball at pace. There was Beggs that time. Oh, oh, Daly, a little bit awkward getting the ball back then. Off Thought the there might down. be a little opportunity. First one was off the foot, knock on by Blue then. Again, fumble on the ground. Awkward ball came out, came off a boot and then off a hand. And lucky from the Daly there, he's keeping the pillar defence of Michaels. Honest. Little bit of a snipe, he goes to place the ball. Good pressure there from the Michaels defence. I suppose Michaels unlucky not to hold the ball to create a, a counter attack opportunity. I've been very, very impressed with Conrad Daly so far. Just putting down into the Michaels defence a pillar 2 3 to create those options for the for the Congos forwards to come forward and run onto the ball. Oh, nice. Me down the blind side, the pass just doesn't quite go to hand. A big crunching tackle came in. The ball is in touch. St. Michael's uh, still deep in the 22. All the play so far has been down in the Michael's half. Well, don't forget, if uh, you have to go out of the house, you're watching this on Air Sports, you can also pick it up on Facebook and on Twitter across the, the globe. And don't forget to take the opportunity to interact with us on either of those platforms. Ball's there, ball available. There it is. Stop six. Yeah, good. Long clearance downfield. Gets it across halfway. The ball into the hands of Charlie Gallon. Sees a little bit of open country, but it was closed quickly. Well read by St. Michael's. Here's the counter attack opportunity. Andrew Smith flying, gets away from one tackle and from another. St. Michael's need to bring him to ground. They do so eventually. Now, has that created a gap out wide? Yes, it has. O'Donovan through space, got the ball away. St. Michael's going to score in the corner. Rowe was going to put in touch. Referee has a little look at the touch judge and then blows the whistle. Try awarded out of nothing and a great response to well, what looked like a reasonable kick when it left the boot of Charlie Gallon. But brilliant effort to come on the counter-attack. Fantastic play by the second rows from Michaels there. Second line, 
in the kick chase. Matthew Healy and then Ryan Bird getting on on the end of a uh, on the end of a pass. Really good break from Andrew Smith. Very good balance. But look at that from the second row. Look at his his tracking line, the support line, and then Dan O'Donovan ha makes a really good break outside and puts Ryan Bard away in the corner. Fantastic play. Great to see those big lads in the wider channels controlling the ball. Look at the support line. He gets on the outside shoulder. Really good finish. Fantastic play. Well, Baird had a long way to go. Outside the 22 when he received the ball. He was involved early in the move. Lovely little pass. Dan O'Donovan doing the damage. Good to see carrying the ball in his right hand, keeping it away from the tacklers. Fantastic play. That's the that's the threat that St. Michael's have. They can play the power game, but they have that balance that they can move the ball into the wider channels, into those big, bigger man's hands. Fantastic play. Great try. Yeah, conversion attempt. Close but not good enough. close to the touchline there but he did very well to keep them off the ground until the ball was grounded eleven minutes gone at Donnybrook Ryan Baird's try puts his side in front St Michael's College five Clongers Wood College three a restart great height on it just goes a couple of meters past the 12 the 10 meter line and Baird in the line again good pass wide to the wing from Gilson and just a little bit too much distance on it maybe the chasing line from St. Michael's well organized they weren't going to make the catch so they just waited for the ball to be run back at them wait for it, wait. Yeah. John Marr chasing back takes the ball coming over his shoulder comes on the counter attack Taken low, almost stepped out of the tackle. Matthew Healy was there to make sure he didn't go any further. Is that tackle a little bit high? Um, seemed to come up off the ball. Fantastic work right there by Matthew Healy to get from the open side from where the kick came from to help his back three in that kick chase line. Halfway, ball away quickly this time. Jack Boyle straight into two Clongos tacklers. Well, the ball moved a little bit wider. Jay Barron looks to find the touchline close to the corner. That's a beautiful kick. Great kick, great vision, really good organization. You could see it in multi phase. The Jay Barron organized a short run. I think it was David Ryan to come short, and he got his head up. Really good kick technique, stayed over the ball. Fantastic kick, land perfect, couldn't inch perfect. Great, great play. And that again, it's just the versatility that Michaels have. They can go short, they can manufacture plays out the back, and then obviously they have a kicking game as, as Jay Barron just showed there. Really good kick. Dan O'Donovan receiving some attention. He's okay to continue. Moving a little bit gingerly, but he's back in the action. Clongos have lost the ball. But not legally. St. Michael's not releasing him the tackle. So marginal in those occasions. Yeah, I think referees generally look towards where your knees are in terms of the tackle. Uh, so important now with, with the new choke law. So Mark O'Brien there just got just got on the wrong side. I think his knee was on the ground as he tried to rip that within the tackle. The referees called Maul here. Choke tackle affected well by Clongos. If I see that again, I'll penalise you. Captain said better example than that. Yeah. Having a little word with 
Anthony Ryan. Something going on on the ground. Same again, you just see Brian Bard there trying to get his knees to deck. Really good work by the Clongos. Our winger, Connell Kennelly, holding, holding him up just for that split second, just to give the referee the chance to call him all, and then he doesn't have to move. Good play, good defensive play there out wide. There for Clongers after failing to find touch from the penalty. Maintain stability before the ball is in. Don't continue with the push. Crouch. Front rows just go down. Nigel Corral wants a reset of the scrum. Still a put in for Clongers. Much different setup here for the Clongers back line all spread across the pitch. Giving Michaels different things to think about, different pictures. Oh, nice box kick once Cut again. Good Knock chase. Down, Ball's gone forward though off the Clongo's hand. Advantage. It's advantage for St. Michael's. There's really none going to appear from there. Cornered in with the onrushing Clongo's players back to come for the scrum. Again, a really good kick from, from Daly at nine just puts it in that area where you have to come forward as a back three player. Kennelly then gets up after it, really good contest, and probably unlucky not, not to take that. Crouch. He got his hands to it, just couldn't hang on. Bind. Set. Hold! Michael's looking a little bit stronger at scrum time, but they can't push past. A metre and a half. And a driving scrum, not an option in schoolboy rugby. Oh, that's gone loose in the tackle. Offside. And then played by a St. Michael's player in an offside position. So the scrum turns into a penalty. Again, you offside. see Daly there messing with the Back defensive on. line. He shoots out wide off the scrum. He doesn't have to stay, stay as close to the scrum. I know they get go forward ball there, but again, Clongos are just giving Michaels different pictures off the line. Um, at different different times, both in attack and defence, which can just create doubt at times for Michaels. Really good from Daly there, mixing it up both in attack and defence. Very, very impressed with him so far. Once again, the crossbow kick hasn't found the touchline. Pass infield to Ryan Baird. Well, it's been stolen by Clongers on the ground. Can they capitalise here? A couple of errors from those penalties. This time it's gone loose back on the Michael side in the tackle, playing an advantage for the knock on. After a very bright early start from Clongo St. Michael's now coming into the ascendancy a little bit. Well, they've plenty of men out wide here. Run out of space a little bit. Dan O'Donovan, the number eight, driving hard. Pushing Klong goes back. The back row working well together. Booth and Penny. David Moore receives the ball. Lovely little pop-up pass. A nice step from David Ryan, but couldn't evade the tackle. That's good acceleration from Matthew Healy, the second row. Baird coming in. Oh, it wasn't Baird in support. It was good support playing the ball thrown all the way wide here. Referee perfectly in line to check was it a forward pass. Clongo's got across in time, but they're pegged back inside the 22 now. On come Michaels once again. Release at seven. Thank you. Gilson and go short. St. Michael's continue again to this left-hand side. Scott Penny trying to step out of that Push tackle. Push. Yep. Michael's just five metres short, pick and drive, getting ever closer to that try line. No the ball is there. It was tempting for Dan Beggs to reach in and pick it up. Heard the referee's call. Tackle complete! Release! Safe. Set for another pick and drive here. Desperate defense from Klongas here. Are they running out of?
Numbers. Short. St. Michael's edging ever closer to that try line, and they're over this time. Try awarded. Well, it was coming all the time. Michael's just had plenty of control. They did not panic. I think control is probably the word, exact way to describe that. They were clear on what they were doing. They didn't. They didn't feel they were under any pressure whatsoever. They controlled the tempo very well. They sped the ball up at the start. They realised it went too slow, and they weren't in any any rush to quicken it up again. And then again, it, just that power that they have. You see, there's two very contrasting scores. One from the forward, well, both from the forwards, but one where they can throw the ball about. Nice little, some deft touches on the ball where that, the second try, has all power. They come round the corner, play off nine, and they control the tempo very, very well. Really good play again from St. Michael's, and just showing the versatility they have all across their pitch and how, all across the pitch and how they want to play. Two tries then for St. Michael's. David Ryan with a conversion attempt. Conversion is on its way. Always judged that one beautifully. It needed to move a little bit to the right in the air, and it did. Steered inside the near post. Excellent kick from Ryan. Stretches the margin to nine points. And that's a big lead at this stage in the game. Big lead given that they, they haven't had a whole lot of ball, really. And Klongos have probably had the majority of possession and trying to create pressure. But Michaels are just very clinical. When they get the ball or they get into the up into Klongos 22, they score. Yeah, the clock just stopped. Connor Duff uh, just down on one knee. Fionn Finlay comes on in his place. Right. And they've gone low and quick for the uh, restart. First man to react was Jody Booth, who did well to control the ball. It's obviously a tactic off kickoffs that they've seen. St. Michael's leave that space short just in front of the kicker. They've gone high once and along the ground second time and they've actually regained the ball twice. Another good platform for them to attack from. They just have to make this pressure count now that they're in the, given the scores and given the way the game has gone. They have to try and bring that clinical edge that Michaels have into, the, into their play. Well, that changes on the Clongo side. Rossa O'Kane on try score in the first round. On for Connor Duff, just a blood substitution. So that can be reversed. Long goes now, need to get something back on the scoreboard quickly. A lovely effort to pop the ball back up off the ground. Charlie Gallon coming around the corner. Long goes almost up to the 22. Don't come back. Advantage. St. Michael's have just strayed a little bit offside here. It's Penalty advantage coming, lovely reverse pass. New advantage is the call from the referee. Matthew Healy, the one pinged by the referee for being offside. Number four. Klongos will have the shot at go. It's Canelli again picking up that inside line off Daly. You see Daly when. He's eyeing their pillar 2-3 to try and drag him out and create that hole for Canelli. Lovely little reverse pass back on the inside. Good play. And don't forget this game is streaming live on Facebook and on Twitter across the globe. If you know anybody overseas with interest in schools rugby, pop them a text, tell them to watch. Semi-final draw coming up after this game. Ben O'Shea successful with his first kick, looking to close the margin a little bit. O'Shea makes no mistake. I think it's important that Congos just keep chipping away now, stay within one score. 
and hopefully when they get a bit more pressure in Michael 22 they make a count and they get, up, get over the line but it's really important that they just keep chipping away at that lead here we go 12-9, 12 all try and get as close as they can to Michael's just before half time Well gathered by Beggs but he was taken out in the air penalty conceded Chasing players either have to jump and try to play the ball or let the opposition catcher come back to ground. Okay? Yeah. David Wilkinson has found a good touch for Clongos. I'm on the middle. I'm expecting you to open out, please. It's very hard when you're committed in the air. You think you have the flight of the ball and you lose it last minute. You leave your feet. You just can't control your momentum into the player. Quick ball off the top for Klongos, flat pass. Going to Matthew Martin, but he's been held up here, Maul is called. Now can Klongos get the ball out of there? No, they can't, it's turned over. Good defensive set there. Scott Penny getting in, seven, usually you want to see him getting over the ball. This time he gets under the ball, holds it up. Good support, Andrew Smith in quickly as well to help out the wing. Could be a tactic there that Congress could exploit throughout the game. See Andrew Smith in the front line, that means that there has to be space back where his wing is. When he leaves his wing, might be able to run a reverse player, 21 pattern back into that space. Well, Donovan took the ball to halfway, got over the gain line. Matthew Martin just got on the wrong side, couldn't wriggle his way out. It's a penalty. David Moran will look to push aside towards the 22. Oh, he's done even better than that. That's a huge kick. To within almost 10 metres of that try line. Forwards love to see that. Get a penalty, 10, stand up deliver really good opportunity now for forward pack to try and create some pressure in the 22. Okay. Baird rises. Hey, St. Michael set, look to set up the mall. Nine, one stop. Clongos managing to push St. Michael's backwards. Michael's looking to Change the point of force, sneak down the narrow side, they're bundled very close to the touchline. And the ball not coming out, it's turned over. It's a brilliant for, uh, brilliant set, uh, defensive set there by the forward pack. Michael's got a good mall set, good shape. Clan goes in, disrupted straight away. See there, they're on their lifters, on the jumper, just creating havoc. Really, really good defensive set there. to sniff out the second surge from St. Michael's as well. Set. Use it. Strong carry from Ben O'Shea. Here comes the kick. Well done. Conrad Daly finds the safety of touch. Best option in the situation. Difficult for a nine to box kick outside of his 15s there, so quite a good kick considering the position of the field he was in. Let's go. Come on. Big five minutes in the context of the game here. Congos can manage to get another score, hold Michaels out for this period. Hold. It's game on in the second hold. half. Hold. Michael's a little One bit more seven. patient this time. Pick away from Baird. Oh, good acceleration and pace into the line. Cosgrave steps out of one tackle. Just lost his footing, but he's made great ground. St. Michael's 10 meters short. Rob Gilson and wrestling for the ball. He's hauled to the ground. 
have Klongos got over it legally. They have referee Nigel Corral perfectly placed. Joe Carroll getting in over the ball. It's a common theme throughout the game. Klongos have really put pressure in terms of line speed. Not only they get done out wide there, but there's two, two incidents where Joe Carroll gets on his feet, puts a nine under pressure, creates a bit of a mess and then gets over the ball, second set, really, really good play. Yeah, he's involved in the first tackle, involved in the second. Board kills him to ground, got straight back up, released, and then got in for the poach. Matthew Martin, number eight, driving for Klongos once again. There's the box kick sent up for Mar to chase. Has to come a long way infield. Dan Peggs did really well the second row to get up as well, but St. Michael secure it at the second attempt. Long pass out, lovely work by Baird, getting his pass away to Jay Barron as he was falling to the ground. back into the line again the attempt to get the tap pass away surely it went forward they're checking with the touch judge stayed in play i think it was forward yeah right underneath this here just went forward from kiss from chris cosgrove clongos are getting a small bit tight in their defensive line if michaels can just create that that second line that second wave of attack get that short runner and play out the back Play a small bit more before contact there. Get that ball in Chris Cosgrove's hands a small bit earlier. He can execute that 2v1 to, to Smith just underneath us. Been a pretty attritional game already. I think that's just been the physicality that both sides have brought. For Klongos especially, their line speed, their targeting of the breakdown both offensively and defensively has been top, top notch. Congress Ben O'Shea is uh, down off camera receiving some attention. St. Michael's number eight, Dana Donovan getting some strapping added to his uh, right wrist and thumb. Ben O'Shea back on his feet. The size of both sides again today is, is incredible. You're looking down these they're not they're young men but they're they're fully grown men the size of this of the team these days is, is incredible i wouldn't fancy being out there myself much to be honest running against someone like dano dano donovan there's only going to be one winner there and certainly yeah. not going to be me <laughs> they're huge as they say but they're quick as well <laughs> And I was neither in my career. <laughs> oh, Shay looks showing there. He's back to full health, charging into big tackles. Three minutes to go to the break. Clong goes trailing by six. Oh, lovely little snipe again. Gets away from one tackle. Conrad Daly, a real threat. Always looking for the opportunity. That's the substitute, Rossa O'Kane. Danny back switches play to the left hand side. Quicker ball this time now. Can Klongos create something? Quick hands for the defense, well organized. That's a lovely run from Tom Coughlin up to the 22. Second row teammate Dan Beggs coming on at pace. Opportunity crash the wide. Right. Chance here. Klongos can move the ball. They have done well. Doesn't quite go to hand. Went backwards. Klongos still have the opportunity, but it's given the defense that. Split second they needed to get across. Tackle comes in very low, very effective. Klongos not releasing. Should Klongos have gone through the hands there a moment ago? They had it looked like a three on one out wide. It's just that final phase that is struggling to uh, to help Klongos. And contrastingly, Michaels are really they, they really execute very well when they're in the 22. Klongo's execution levels just seem to wane when they get in the 22. 
But again, Conrad Daly creating all sorts of confusion at pillar two, three, and his service. He just brings the forward runners onto the ball and creates that power. And then he, he got caught up in a rook there. That slowed everything down. Someone needs the, the presence of mind. Stand up and play. Deliver that there's no nine there. And that, that just gives Michaels a chance to reset and, and close out that 3v2 on the edge. Old man, old man dropped it. Old man. David Moore found a great touch, almost taking play to the halfway line. Just going to go scrum. Just make sure everyone's okay. Blue ball. His own man has dropped him. No, your own man dropped you. Yeah, I agree. We're going to take a scrum in 15. Blue ball. Jody Booth catching but coming down heavily to ground. Referee saying it was uh, the lifters let him come down. It wasn't a penalty, yeah, it wasn't can, pulled down by Klongos. Play will restart the clock ticking towards 35. Crouch. Find. Set. Keep your head and shoulders, book your hips, and then keep that angle. Yep. Crouch. Crouch. Interesting to see here, Michael spread the whole way across the pitch. Set up with front line of three and a back line of two. See if they can launch them again. Daly into the middle of the park to create some confusion for that offensive line. Double tackle on David Ryan, the St. Michael's captain. But now the forwards quickly across, sweeping across the pitch. Healy Lost. with a carry. Lost. Oh, quick pass out wide. Andrew Smith charging down the touchline. Super tackle coming in from John Marr. Blocked the pass as well as he took the man. Find his pitcher. Rob Gilson and just the ball came up awkwardly for him. He was caught in possession. Matthew Healy once again. A minute extra time played here. Play goes on until the ball goes out of play. Moran moving the ball on. There's men wide here for St. Michael's. They need to straighten the line. Look, popped up out of the tackle. Just not held. It's not done. And a little bit of relief for Klongos in the final moment of the first half. Important defensive set there. Need to close the game out, keep it between that six point margin, half time. St. Mary's, Belvedere, and Black Rock. And Klongo's a little bit over eager, got ahead of the kicker. Back they come for a scrum. Big error at the start of second half. You're six points down, it's an opportunity to try and ping Michaels into their own, own half and try and get a line out for yourself somewhere inside the 10 meter line. Crouch. He's nearly five meters ahead of the kicker by the time O'Shea made contact. Set. Hold. Hold there. Keep. Hold, Blue. Well, St. Michael's injecting a bit of pace and the space opens up. Ball thrown out wide. An opportunity to score right at the start of the second half. Congos get across. Another little surge from St. Michael's just three Sam, meters short of that line. Referee taking a close look at this. Back Michael's the proved so effective from here in the first half. Can they execute once again? They were patient. There's the opportunity to dive over the top. The try is awarded. Again. American football star score. Again, so clinical when they get into the 22. Fantastic midfield scrum play by, by the backs. You can see here, short runner out the back and creates that 3v2 straight through a hole probably gives the ball a slight bit early but again they just have that control the ball slows down they're not too worried about trying to speed it up really quickly they have that control they just have that clinical edge some really smart play just to go over the top here in the end but again they just have that clinical edge you see they mix power with pace very very well yeah, quick thinking from Dan and Donovan diving over the top of the rook. Nobody home for Klongos. All comes from you know the basic error at the start when you want to make sure you try and get a line out in their half off off a kickoff. Someone runs in front of the kicker, just gives 
hardest place to defend, hardest scrum to defend from on the pitch is a midfield scrum. Gives any team a really good platform to attack from. Conversion attempt from quite wide. He struck that one nicely. Oh, that's a beauty. Two points added. And Klonga's really punished for that error at the restart. And now the margin, 13 points. I would imagine that it's a tough task from here. But I think Klongos need to score in the next five minutes to try and get back within that six points, as I said before. And if they can manage to be with five, seven minutes to go within one score, there's a possibility. But they need to make sure that they get on the score, score sheet very, very quickly. Yeah, seven-pointer badly needed now. Donovan again with that carry. Lovely offload. Oh, there's a, some pace injected by Healy. That's incredible for a second row. Charging into the 22. Support comes now. Michael's players looking for it. Ryan Baird manages to wrench it out. Drives forward a few metres. Another opportunity for St. Michael's here. Straight in front of the posts. Once again, St. Michael showing each one of the forwards willing to pick and drive, make half a metre, get closer to that line, suck in the defenders, and create the opportunity if they need to for the back men. They may not need to. Forwards, uh, scorers of all three tries so far for Michaels. One of them, though, in fairness, was a back line move. No, two, let it go, let it go. Longos have slowed it right down here. Back I know you don't want to kick the ball away in the 22, but there's an opportunity in the backfield with no one covering that chip space in behind. Really good movement by the Michaels backs in behind. The forward carries, just trying to move the Klongo's defence around the park. Yeah, great work on the ground. Ryan Baird got isolated. Captain, yes, sir. So, yeah. I spoke to you in the first half yeah. about reactions to your team's penalties. If I see anything like that, I'll reverse the penalty straight yes, away. No, I'm not. Let's go. Let's go well, Nigel Crowell not happy with the reaction Ten, from the teams back, when they're please. awarded a penalty. I can understand their excitement they are. Oh, I'm going to stop delighted. It was a big play by Durkin. Managing to well, okay. yeah, get up. Baird on Don't the ground, get him yet. isolated, okay. get over the ball yeah, clean up there. and get that penalty. Just need to make sure that they get touch here and they try and get into the Michaels half. During the week we've spoken about back row, uh, back row axis and the balance that they have in them. Uh, the Belvedere one in, in particular, but to me today it's the actual second row axis of, of Healy and Baird. You see here... Healy up, he's leaving back three players for dead there, but more importantly, look at his work on the ground there. It's that extra roll that gives uh, Gleason, and then next man up, next man in is his second row partner, Baird, there in over the ball to make sure that they recycle and they get another oppor opportunity in the uh, Congo's, Congo's 22. But really, really good play. They're like um, Retallic, they're like the, 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 the Kiwi, Kiwi second rows that can get about the park. Finished tries on the edge, but they also got really deft touches of their handling in close quarters. Really, really good play by the second row pair in there. John Durkin just required a little bit of attention. Klongas have found a good touch. Clean win of the line out, no real competition for the ball. Matthew Martin driving out. Stop short of the 10 meter line, the ball comes out the side, poached by St. Michael's, quick reactions. Penny steals through a little gap, gate closes, little roll, ball presented beautifully. Chris Hennessy with the carry, tight head. Klongo's not rolling away, penalty advantage being played here, ball thrown all the way wide. Defence sweeps across, but opportunity here, oh lovely step, St. Michael's into the 22. Ball presented, here's Healy once again, the big second row. Three. McMahon got his hands on the ball, but a shout from the referee to say it was lost. A lovely little pass out of the tackle. No 
advantage. No advantage accruing back they come for the first defence. Calder's not rolling away, it's outside the 22, but it's a kickable opportunity. It's probably one that could have gone. Um, you know, Moran plays David Ryan off his shoulder there, but out wide. They had that man bared again out wide with, with Lee Barron and Mark O'Brien against just one Clongo's defender in the 15. Probably an opportunity where the ball could have been shifted, but they knew they had advantage. Again, they just have that know-how, when to speed the ball up. Now, just to put, you know, keep the throat on the neck, make sure that you keep building pressure in these opportunities, keep the scoreboard ticking over. David Ryan waiting to uh, take the penalty. Matt Healy is it is down, receiving some attention. He's getting his uh, ankles strapped up there. Really was an incredible run. Quick to react and get on the shoulder. Three Clongos guys really close. It's that extra roll that just gives Gilson the chance to get over the ball and make sure that ball is recycled. It's those little things that are littered throughout the Michaels play. They have just have those smarts. The extra roll on the ground, all that stuff is it can't it's just a conveyor belt that they have at the moment. I know we've spoken about it before with the amount of pros that come out of St. Michael's, but they just they just have those basics down. They're non-negotiable when you play for Michaels, and they're really showing that today. And David Ryan, two from three, while Matt Healy was receiving attention. St. Michael's made a change. Fionn Finlay on for Chris Hennessy. Matt Healy is OK to continue. David Ryan's two kicks so far. Conversions. Warming up before the game. He was kicking from out this side from putting popping them over from the 10 meter line. So this is well within his range. Is it curling enough? It's a good effort. It's an excellent effort from Ryan. Sensible play from St. Michael's. Keep that scoreboard ticking over. Stretch the lead. Just need to make sure now they... Michael's, they control the exit. St. Clongos, they need to try and manufacture a kick chase where they try and get the ball back and create an opportunity. Uh, Clongos staying well behind the kicker on that occasion. And O'Shea goes deep into the 22. Clearance doesn't find Back touch. Is. Not held, but didn't go forward. Ball thrown in field to Gallon. He has Canelli on his no shoulder. But again, that defensive line for St. Michael's. So well organized. There's a little bit of space here in behind the defense. And it's a foot race. Or is it going to go all the way down? No. He's just holding up nicely. It was a perfectly judged kick. Touchdown for the 22 meter dropout. That ball could hold up, John Marr. He's got a lot of pace out wide there in the right. Ball could have held up, it could have put a bit more pressure. Unlucky. Surface just means that there's always going to be an extra bounce in the ball. A well judged kick from Marr. Clongers, at least to receive the ball coming back. David Wilkinson underneath it. Gallon. He's in a little bit of space here. Oh, that's an important tackle. And the pass didn't quite go to hand. Bobbled around a bit. St. Michael's have the ball. Thought Gallon was going to sneak through a gap. The tackle so important. Tackle! Tackle! Release! Advantage is over. Referee call advantage over for the knock on when the ball went loose a moment ago. St. Michael's still in possession inside the round half. Box kick is blocked down. What's bobbling around. Baird is back there. Beautiful pass from the second row. And Michael's looking to run the ball from deep. Might have been better to kick. Just to clear. 
Use it. Stay there. Just a support line after his pass that is probably the most intriguing thing about it. He's very happy to run a shoulder ball out wide, try and get the ball back in, in the wider channel in the 15. So he'd love a one-on-one -on -one with a winger anytime. Oh, box kick blocked down once again. Rob Gilson needs to take a bigger step back. Just telegraphing a little bit, making it easier for the blockers to know when the kick is coming. Chance here. Carroll wasn't held in the no. tackle, but the tackle was strong enough to slow him right down. Good decision in the end by Mark. Mark O'Brien out wide to come in off his line. If he didn't stop the ball there, it would have been a certain try. He was backed up by David Ryan on his inside. Good play defensively. The yeah, ball just not forward in the tackle. Time off. Don't forget this game also going out live on Facebook and on Twitter. You just think there's a very important period in the game for Klongos. They've had a... A sustained, sustained period of time in St. Michael's 10 metre. If they don't get a score here, you imagine the next four or five minutes probably puts the game just, just past them a small bit. Yeah, if you're watching on Facebook or Twitter around the world, do keep those messages coming into us. Congo supporters still singing, but they trail 22 points to six here. Receiving some attention. It's okay to go on. Nice position to attack from here for a back line. Michaels have to bring one over on the edge just in case the wheel, the wheel of the scrum goes against them. So you automatically have numbers up on, on the edge. Interesting to see Andrew Smith defending a 10 for the majority of the time. You know, they come to that narrow side. David Moran was the one sent across the out half and made the important tackle. Jonathan Dirk or John Durkin on the charge. But Michaels so powerful in the tackle. This is Rossa O'Kane. Longo's trying a little pop-up short tactic, getting a little bit of a result from it. Ryan McMahon, big tight head driving forward. Gain some important meters. Start of the first Backwards. half, Klongos were very effective. Backwards. Backwards. With this tactic, well, the penalty has come as a stray offside. It'll slip Backwards. in midfield Backwards. by Ben O'Shea. Jay Barron straight offside for St. Michael's. There's a penalty coming for Klongos, but they need to get more. They have a free play here. They need to try and manufacture some kind of go-to play. They just go one out. I don't think they have enough power to get over the line. Say that. Now look to move it a little bit forward. Oh, clever little kick through. Well, no, oh, it's not going to count. Back they come. Shot it's a nice option. It was Number shot 12, to nothing, but they just again, they just need to make sure that they don't wander offside for any kick. The kicker, so can't play advantage from that. Interesting decision here now. Do they chip away at the lead or do they try and go for it? Captain. Straight in front of the post, I say they should take the three. They're having a okay, long Martin's discussion there. about it. Still oh, 20 minutes to go. Ball thrown back 12. to David Wilkinson. 12. He's Hold not the place the kicker, so we know where this is going. Yeah, when you want. Uh, that's not as easy as it looks. He's, uh, Kicking from about 10 metres out, and he's a five-metre target, and he's a long way from the touchline. Yeah, it's a, it's a very good kick there under the the pressure uh, pressure st pressure cooker that he's at at the moment. Interesting call, 22-9 with 20 minutes to go. Need to make oh. sure to come up the ball. St. Michael's got a hand in there, and they've stolen it. Ryan Baird on the ground, the ball in hand. right back on the dead ball line finds a safe touch no angle to work with 
has taken play almost out to the 22. It's a good clearance in the circumstances. I'll give you a chance. Fans are still here. You have to make this, this period of pressure count. Line out ball one this time. Little pop up pass, Matthew Martin coming on the wraparound. Again, just using the first uh, receiver as the runner and not getting a huge amount of change. St. Michael's two tacklers there every time and not getting sucked in to, to commit too many numbers. Yeah, pushing the back, the ball was loose, penalised. Clongos are a small bit flat when they go out the back there. What they're trying to create there is a 2 or three v, a 3v2 or 2v1 on the edge. They're trying to get up, get around the corner, win that race around the corner. You see here, just that bounce, just a small bit too flat. That is a three on two on the edge. Unfortunately, he's just getting the ball too flat and he can get hit man and ball there. Well, was the same Michael's arm that came in that knocked the ball forward. That's the reason for this scrum. Ryan Baird has stayed down. Well, the two second rows of the cramp setting in, it's not a surprise. Two of them have been all over the park. It'll be interesting uh, to see their GPS results and not only how far they covered, but how fast they covered the ground. Clongo's making a change in their second row. Gavin Dowling coming on for Dave Beggs. David Beggs heads to the side. He's put in a strong 50 minutes. A lot, of, a lot of unseen work in terms of that line speed and pressure at rook time. He's been one of the main men in that, in that area. Martin picking and going off the base of the scrum. McMahon this time. Again taken by two St. Michael's players. One high, one low. Klongos, can they get the ball through the hands here? Attacking line a little bit disjointed. Thrown all the way wide. Oh, that's some effort by Keneally, the winger. Skipped out of a couple of tackles. Good pressure in the counter rocking. Klongo's appealing to the referee. The crowd not happy. Straight in front of the Klongo supporters. The referee Six right in place. So the counter rock was okay. St. Michael's, you think, must get something from this passage of play if they're going to come back in this game. Just finding the St. Michael's defence so hard to breach. Well, the ball has gone loose, it's been turned over. Advantage. Super work in the loose. Sure. Just there when Klongo's managed to get the ball, the ball to width. They're a small bit lateral and it's only for Canelli's quick feet and power down the side that he gets, gets past that tackle. Again, if they can just get a small bit square and a bit deeper to the line, Rather than being lateral, you'll actually give Canelli maybe five, six, seven meters to attack him rather than just using his feet and his power one on one. Really good. It was Baird again, puts the puts that shot in under pressure. And then next phase they get a turnover. Still plenty of time left for Klongos. They need to get a score. And get one quickly. Dana Donovan makes some meters away from the face of the scrum. Gilson and Oates gets that one past the outstretched hands, but he sliced it a little bit. It's straight into touch. So is this the opportunity Klongos need? Line out inside the 22. I think Gilson needs a small bit of help there from Warren at the back just to control and give him an option, take the heat off his left foot. Clonkers are putting him under a huge amount of pressure there, getting forward, getting on his left foot to make, on his left foot to make sure he can't put boot the ball correctly.
Copland wins the ball at the back of the line out quickly through the hands of Shea. Lovely little pass, so it's worked out. Mar did well, got his pass away to Carroll. Clong goes within four and a half metres. And they go to the big man to try and drive over again, just held up short. His arms all over the ball now, it comes back on the Clongo side. They're over this time, Matthew Martin dives in. Well, he deserves a try today, that's for sure. He's carried willingly over and over again. The Clongo supporters are on their feet. Is it the lifeline they need? Good first phase there. Ball back inside from Ben O'Shea into Mar, And then they just get that power game going. Lucky that he did get over, I'd say he might have been getting a small bit of small bit of jib from out wide if he didn't manage to score. They had about a four on one on the edge, but really good. Good score there by Matthew Martin. And also it's closer to the post. Every point counts in the position that they're in. Big kick here from Ben O'Shea. Two from two. Both penalties from O'Shea, both in the first half. Neatly done, Ben O'Shea narrows the margin to nine points. Next score, you think, is vital. That first phase play, really good. In terms of they managed to get two forwards short, Ben O'Shea was out the back and in a really nice, good, straight, direct line inside to Mar. Mar uses power and pace again. Congo's wingers, got plenty of pace, plenty of power. If you give them a one-on-one, -on -one, they're going to make some ground. St. Michael's 22, Congo's 13. Longo is looking to run the ball from deep, a little bit of space for Ben O'Shea. Got the pass away, Gallant, a little flick out of the back of the hand. Ma didn't see it coming. Again, they're small, but lateral. A bit flat on the edge there. They can just hold their feet more and try and get that front line to sit down a defender and get that balance out the back that they can create those 3v2s. They're creating them at the moment, but they're just a tiny bit lateral, not giving them an opportunity to execute on the edge. Line-up throw not quite straight Captain. enough for Nigel Corral. Scrum, line-out option. Scrum, have the option to take another line-out or go for scrum. They go into the scrum 15 metres in. St. Michael's have uh, at half David Moran covering the narrow channel once again. And those front rows have all stood up. The scrum turn more than 90 degrees. Front three of Michael's here in terms of the left hand side scrum. 11, 12, 13. They're quite tight. But you'd imagine Set. they're going to get on a big Hold drift on, to try and expose that. They need to make sure that they get square, sit them down tight, and try and expose that space out wide. O'Shea at first receiver had to wait for the ball a little bit. Cut out his time. Set. Wilkinson was deep. He's gone to the air, safely taken by Chris Cosgrave. Hasn't had too much to deal with under the high ball. He's been super on the counter-attack. And the box kick blocked down a little bit again. First to react is Mark O'Brien, the right winger for St. Michael's. Good strength and presence of mind to stay in play. Keep the ball alive for his team. No Donovan oh, attempted, had a look. We'll see when he got the pass away and decided to keep in hand, not do anything too risky. Scott Penny wrestling his way forwards another half a metre to make that ball a little bit easier for his scrum half. 
Nice step of the ball has been ripped for a start with Bobby Sheehan. Nice little release from the hooker into the arms of Gavin Dowling. Substitute second row. Just couldn't get up ahead of steam. Jay Barron was there to make the tackle, take him low. This is another substitute, Ross O'Kane. Ross O'Kane, okay, I beg your pardon. Again, fantastic control at the base by Daly. Just bringing those numbers on. Is that knocked on again in the tackle? Yeah, it's just that flat line out wide. Did a 4v2 there. O'Shea trying to speak to the referee. He thinks it's an intentional knock-on, but probably in the tackle. He's just not, not being able to control that space between attack and defence. They can hold their feet here out wide. It's a simple 4v2 on the edge. You can execute that again. Hips towards the touchline. Everyone a bit square. If you manage just to hold your feet, get a small bit wider, get square. They can execute, try and use that space that is there in, the, in that wider channel. Show me the shoulder, straighten out, and keep your head and shoulder above your hips. Ten minutes to go in Donnybrook. St. Michael's leading by nine points. Set. Clangos can score now with 10 minutes to go. Be within two or four. And about five minutes to go, there's a, a chance that that seed of doubt might, might be in the Michael's mind. This time the attacking line deeper, but they decide to kick through. It was well read by St. Michael's. Back to collect is Conrad Daly. He saw an opportunity to go long. He sliced the kick a little bit. Well, Klongos, so tempting. The Klongos players were ahead of the kickers. Played the ball in an offside position. I think that's <laughs> his first mistake today, I think. It's just trying to hold ball now with 10 minutes to go, nine, 10, nine minutes to go. Try and get your big ball carriers on the ball. Build something around the corner. It's just that bounce, bringing it towards the front row forward. He's always going to look, look to try and, try and go to the ball. Great kick from David Moore and pushes Klongos back close to their try line. Don't forget, at the end of this game, we'll have the semi-final draw. Belvedere, Black Rock and St. Mary's awaiting the winners of this game. And this game is going at us live on Twitter and on Facebook. Baird takes in the line out. Again, Congo's Mall D. Excellent. Putting the first shove under pressure, driving them back. Very, very good. And they win the turnover, excellent work from Klongos, but they're in the wrong part of the field. Really good drills there from Ryan McMahon. Getting in on the ball carrier, drive them back straight away. David Wilkinson making way, Max Dowling is going on in his place. Looks like a straight switch at outside half. Ben O'Shea waiting as the first receiver to charge forward with the ball, set up a platform, make that clearance kick a little bit easier for Conrad Daly. Well, that's a great kick from Daly. Gets over the head of the defenders. That gets his team another 10, 12 meters. Good percentage play there. Control the ball. Again, Daly impressive all day long. Really, really good kick. Mine's middle. 
Let's go, please. Have to contest heavily here now, try and get the ball back. They need to create a scoring opportunity in the next two or three minutes. Bird wins the ball, the throw's not straight. An opportunity here now, they need to come up with some attacking play, back line, be back, be back line. Playing off your right hand. Yeah, having a little huddle there to decide what move to execute. Ben O'Shea, number 12, giving out the instructions. Everyone committed to the left-hand side. Scrums have got a little bit scrappy. The referees had to speak to the front rows on a few occasions now. And it suits St. Michael's, the team nine points in front. It does. Might be a bit of smarts from St. Michael's front row. Touch. Ticking in the clock. Set. Hold that there, Nick. A little chip over the top is the tactic. The bounce of the ball might have gone the way of Clongos, but Chris Cosgrave left and won possession. Scott Penny throws his body on the loose ball. And St. Michael's have possession. Ball thrown out to Dan O'Donovan. He's a little bit isolated here, but gets back towards his pack. Baird. Ball went loose but went backwards and back into the hands of David Moore and he sent a huge up and under downfield. Gallon is underneath it. Great chase by Mark O'Brien to put in the first up tackle. And Jack Boyle almost pants for the steal but Klong has come away with it with Bobby Sheehan. Soft offload to the try scorer. Matthew Martin, good leg drive from him, carries on towards the 22. McMahon in the play again, but the ball has gone loose. Knock on, and another opportunity maybe slips away for Klongos. Just one offload too much. See now people starting to cramp up a small bit. Just important that they try and hold ball. Clongos hold ball, they will get an opportunity that they, they'll be able to take. As you imagine now, just, on, just over four minutes left. Time might be running out. Charlie Gallon has left the field. On comes Sean Donovan. He's going straight in at fullback. Looks like John Fish will come in for St. Michael's as well. Callum Dowling is on in uh, the front row for Klongos. Replacing Bobby Sheen at hooker. Longo's just getting over eager. And pushing before the ball is in. Can see the free kick. Great run by Scott Penny. Baird. Look at that for straight from Ryan Baird. 66, 67 minutes into a tough cup game. On a very, very fast pitch. Still showing plenty of willingness, plenty of energy. Smart play here by Michaels, playing around the corner, sucking the penalty out. Clongos have to try and get the ball back so much, so they're going to be on the edge. Just take control of possession, if you hold the ball, you win the game. Really, Tom, really smart play. Tom Cotton just slow to roll away there, did his best to stay out of the uh, scrum half's way. Emmett McMahon. Head coach for St. Michael's, he's done a super job. More on his fan touch. It's a very mature, settled way St. Michael's have gone about their business, especially since Slong has got that score. Some teams might have panicked, and that stretched arm, giving it a deliberate knock on. 
the three. They've just been very clinical, haven't they? I mean, they've they've controlled the tempo of the second half. Played in the right areas. So again, and no, they've not now. kicked the sticks the right times. Ryan McMahon pleading uh, his innocence there. Just stuck an arm out. Days gone by, it wouldn't be considered a deliberate knock-on. Nowadays, you put your arm out like that. If you don't catch it, you don't have to slap it down anymore. Just comes from the position Clongers are in. You have to try and go for something. You know, you need a score in the next 60 seconds, so you're going to be on the edge all the time, trying to create something out of nothing. Good leadership as well from captain David Ryan here. It's a long way out. He knows the clock is uh, almost more important than the scoreboard here. And well within his range. Also, uh, no harm having a place kick like this. We need to know what it's like in later rounds, maybe. Oh, it had the distance all right. It just didn't quite have the direction. So last throw of the dice for Klongos. Shea looking to find a bit of grass. St. Michael's though deal with the threat well. They've secured possession. Really good carry there. Ross. Use it. Yeah, just smart. Not doing anything too. Baird with the carry this time. Michael's keeping it tight. Just looking to grind out Fine. now. 15, 20 seconds left. Yep. Has the ball been turned over? Looks like Congos have managed to get their hands on it. There'll be one final chance. The clock has ticked past 70. Oh, three on one here. Ball carrier needed to commit the defender. Oh, Donovan was lined up as he received the ball. Still there for Klongos. McMahon. Good support coming in to drive the tight head forward. Gavin Dowling, his hands on the ball. Yeah, holding on after the tackle. And that is surely the final action. I'm sure he's happy. David Moore and ends the quarter final round of the Leinster School Senior Cup. Tap the penalty and kick to touch. So there won't be time for the line out. The St. Michael supporters punch the air. The players all congratulate each other and big smiles. Deserved winners, St. Michael's. Super performance for them to try. Tries in the first half, a second after the break. Really put too much daylight between the sides. But Michael.